So I was reading this morning that the FBI has taken over the case to search for Brian Laundrie. At first, it was the Florida officials, state officials, looking for him in the reserve. The FBI has now taken over, which I think the FBI should have been doing it to begin with because it's a multi-state crime that he's done. Anyway, so let's go back to August the 12th when they had the domestic violence incident. I think that's when many of us kind of got interested in all of this because not only did they have their videos all over YouTube and uh, TikTok and Instagram, so we were easily able to kind of track what they were doing, but many of us, especially women, saw her distraught in the, the back of that police car and we went, she's the victim of domestic violence, not the other way around. And for me personally, I just wanted to grab her, you know, through the screen and, and talk to her. But of course, you know, we can't and it was too late by the time we got all of that information. So that night or the night after is when Kylan and Crystal, the married couple, were killed not not too far from where Brian and Gabby had been. And police have said that that's not related. So we've all kind of said, okay, but they're not investigating it. Apparently people locally in Moab said that they have not uh, investigated or talked to people who are around that area uh, to see what was going on or anything. I think the FBI knows it's related. That's why this has become such a big manhunt because they know a serial killer is on the loose. And FBI has taken over the search, which they should have done to begin with. And that's the reason it's become such a big, big deal. Other than we all really like Gabby and we were worried about her. Now the search seems like it would just be a search, but I think we have a serial killer.